Why would you scrap a CNC machine? I mean, that's a terrible sentence. Nobody would ever want to scrap a machine. You can make a good living off of them. The perfect marketplace find for any starting machine shop, right? But it was like 70,000 pounds, huge. They were trying to give it away. Nobody wanted it. They aren't paying. I'm not working. Don't get an old junker off a of Facebook marketplace. That one that was free was 70,000 pounds. Three semis later, broken concrete, forklift stuck in the asphalt. I'm the CNC repairman. Are you a I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls is full of awesome. I'm the CNC repairman. I make a lot of videos about machine tools, and I thought I'd make a video to explain what I've heard from shop owners when I hear them say, nope, scrapping that machine, and I'm like, Ooh. So, who am I? I sell parts for these machines. I help people all the time. We ship parts overnight. If you need something, check out CNC replacement parts. So, things I have heard from shop owners. Oh, we're moving. We're just gonna scrap it. Now, that's an okay answer, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'd be worth moving. Here's another one. We need the space. You ever heard that one? because we're bringing in another newer machine. I can't sell it. I mean, they've tried. I tried selling a couple machines for somebody. I got a hold of some people. Yeah, nobody wanted one. I'll tell you which one is in my head. This machine, 50 taper, uh, like 80 inches of travel in X, 40 in Y, 60 in Z, had a rotary table, but it was like 70,000 pounds. I mean, huge. They were trying to give it away. Nobody wanted it. Well, partly because of the list, the reasons I'm gonna tell you about. So if you can't sell a machine, you have to scrap it. Here's another reason why you would scrap a CNC machine. No one wants to work on it. I mean, I like working on machines, but it gets to a point where like, they aren't paying, I'm not working. And if it's not fun, okay, well, that's not true. Uh, if it's pull your hair out, there's no help, there's no support, it's way too expensive, you could get another one to do the same thing for cheaper than me, yeah, you need to scrap that machine. Here's another reason I wrote down. The manufacturer is no longer in business. Yeah, if you got an old worn out hunk of junk boat anchor and Hitachi Siki, they're good machines, but they're hard to work on. Uh, I, I wouldn't keep that thing around. I'd probably scrap it. Um, cannot get parts, that's another reason. Well, it fits right into what I just said. The manufacturer is not around and you can't get parts. Probably a good idea to scrap it. The cost of the repair is too high. That's a tough one. Uh, we, we got a machine in our garage because the customer didn't want to pay the full amount to rebuild a gearbox, and the machine wasn't worth anything without a gearbox. So they, they loaded it up on a trailer and away it went to machine heaven or hell. I mean, maybe, look around. Uh, machine is too slow. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you're a business that's trying to be efficient and trying to be profitable, Running on an old manual VTL that's just a pain in the neck to work on and is slow might not be profitable. So that might be a reason why a machine would get scrapped. Um, what's another one? Machine is too dangerous. I mean, yeah, there, there's some stuff where it's like the, the, the parts swing in. I mean, you, machinists all the time do dangerous stuff, but if stuff gets too dangerous and you're a big company, they're just gonna get it out. They're, they're, they're just gonna avoid the whole thing because liability and all that stuff. So big places might scrap something because of that. Here's, here's one that's pretty prevalent. I even find today, we don't have anybody. We can't hire anybody. We hired somebody last week and today he didn't come in and took us three days to figure out where the guy went and he just said, oh, he got a better job. So yeah, if you don't have anybody to run a machine and it's old and like you can't hire anybody and you need the space, that'd be a prime example of get rid of it because maybe you can't sell it so you have to scrap it. You cannot find tooling. The other day I put a picture, a video on my Instagram It said, I went to a funeral and I opened the door of this shop and right in front of the door was an old green Matsura. Like old, I mean old, old. It had a BT45 spindle. I mean, when's the last time you tried to buy a brand new BT45 tool? We actually have a test bar for it. But I mean, funky oddball size taper, weird magazine tool changer it had all the switches on it. like wire wrap, I mean, old DC servo motors, like it was ready to die. It, it, it needed to go to the graveyard. Um, I mean, here's another reason to or not to, they say the spindle sounds so good, I just hate to scrap it. I mean, it, it runs good, 
But yeah, if it ain't profitable, don't do business with it. That's that's sort of my business. If you can't afford to hire somebody to work on it and you don't like working on it and you don't wanna work on it, I just helped the whole shop move and I think they scrapped four or five machines. Big old uh, GNL, what was it, a VTL, they took the chuck off and cut it in pieces. I think I had to weigh 30,000 pounds. They had another big Toshiba with a gearbox and I had helped the previous tenant there that this machine shop moved in, I helped them get it going. Just it's too bad. I mean, yeah, museums are cool, but you don't try to operate a profitable business and a museum at the same time. The Smithsonian doesn't, I don't think, make a profit. So they aren't buying machines, haul them to the dump. I hate to say it. All of us old guys hate to see stuff that was like important, stuff that made the world go around, stuff that really brought the industry to where it is. And it kind of sucks to be buying this cheap stuff and, and, and running parts on it, but man, I want you to have a profitable business, so that's why I'm making a video about don't get an old junker off a of Facebook marketplace. I mean, yeah, it might look great. That one that was free was 70,000 pounds. It'll cost you 10 grand to move it. Three semis later and you broken concrete, forklift stuck in the asphalt. You don't want to be that guy who got it for free and then had to pay through the nose. Don't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth and if you go get a used CNC just, I mean, these, yes, because I, I work on it and I'll help you and I think these are smaller and these are affordable and, and the parts on these aren't difficult to get. You we, we offer all the parts for them so we're gonna keep these alive, but old clunkers, sorry, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I, I know they'll be, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. That's okay, tell me, comment, love to hear it. But that's my take on why to scrap a CNC machine, to scrap a machine or not to scrap a machine, scrap it. That's what I would say, scrap it. Sorry, when's the last time you took in your TV or your VHS player? I'm the bearer of bad news. Fun, 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 take it easy.